What's going on today, ladies and gentlemen? Hope you're excited because today we're up into another 2022 Series 1 retail box. Hunt me some cold coffee with some Trevor Zegers. Uh, yeah, after that, kind of falls off an absolute cliff. Of course, can find Spencer Knight, you can find Jeremy Swayman, Tanner, uh, Janot, some other decent names, but after Coffee and Zegers, nobody's really worth a whole ton out of here. Uh, reason being this, if you saw the last video, I got this box for very cheap, $60 Canadian in total. So yeah, kind of tough to find a box for that cheap nowadays. So I figured I might as well try again. Again, hopefully we can get lucky today if you guys are new to the channel please consider subscribing because if we hit over a thousand subscribers by the end of august we will do a big time giveaway so make sure you are subscribed drop a like on this video it really helps me grow the channel and leave a comment down below uh what you've been opening lately what type of polls have you been getting if you pull anything cool out of some boxes let me know down in the comments and make sure you follow us over on instagram and whatnot at arc sports cards because that's where you can find the cards we're selling oh without further ado let's rip into another retail box of 2022 series one Okay, we got our first pack here. We'll see what the quality control is like today. Uh, the corners do look rounded, so that's not great. And it looks like we'll start with the canvas card. 50% chance at a Youngin canvas today. And we also got a Phil Kessel canvas here. Pack number two, we got our first Young Guns. No, it looks like we got a Red Dazzlers. I think these are two per retail box. Maybe just one. I don't remember. Red Dazzlers. Sebastian Ajo, so color match there. But yeah, unfortunately, not going to have too much value. Okay, pack number three. Some rough corners on this pack. Can also get base packs. I think that's what this is. Yeah, I'm kind of glad because the corners, bottom right corners are pretty rough. All right, still looking for young gun number one. It's going to be here. No, it looks like we got a portrait card. This is going to be a portrait of Miro Haskinen. Okay, next up, what do we got? Looks like our first electromagnetic. This one's going to be Patrick Lyon. I hope they never bring these back. Not a big fan. Okay, where are the young guns? I swear if I don't get any young guns again, <laughs> I'm actually screwed because I got this from a card show. There we go. We got one young guns to start. Come on, let's see Cole Caulfield. Not Caulfield until right away. Is that Drysdale? Yep, looks like we got Jamie's Drysdale. So unlikely we get Caulfield because he's considered one of the top names, even though he's worth like 10 bucks, uh, if that. Some rough edge wear here. Um, but overall, for Series 1, it doesn't even look like it's in that bad of condition. Usually these cards, I guess there's a lot of edge damage on the back. Usually these cards are completely beat up, and this one uh, is pretty beat up. So yeah, unlikely we see Caulfield today, but you never know. Can get lucky. We got a canvas here, second canvas, Pekka Rene. Okay, next up, uh, is this another canvas? Nope, we got a Superstar Honor Roll, our first Honor Roll. Going to be Mark Stone, see if the Golden Knights win the Stanley Cup or not. Okay, what we got here? What is this? base pack looks like another base pack yes base pack oh no we got debut dates of nolan foot hiding in there i guess i missed that all right where's young gun number two is it here yes it is we got young gun number two come on let's see someone someone we like i think i know who this is nope i don't is this flyer it's tanner lazinski there yeah not a great one uh yeah not so great uh it is what it is so yeah, first two young guns, not looking great. Uh, looks like we got our first rookie retrospective. This one's going to be Jason Robertson, who's probably the top rookie from 2021. I guess Kaprizov's up there, Stutzel's up there. Okay, where's our next young guns? It's right here. Come on, young gun number three, lucky number three. Let's see, the card actually looks like it's in okay condition. Blue, who is this? Uh, who's it Kane? Is it Keen? Joey Keane there, yeah, so another not great one. Uh, like I said, Drysdale, and that edge is, wow, that edge is brutal. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> wow. I thought it was clean on this side, but I missed the edge damage, I guess. Uh, yeah, that edge is brutal. And, yeah, not a great young gun. All right, we're officially halfway through now, and it looks like we have young gun number four, back-to-back -back packs with young guns, so hope for the best. Uh, I don't think this is a good one. It's a capital, right? Yep. Garrett Pilon, another not great one. I think the Drysdale is going to be considered a hit of the box, but hopefully we can get like a young on canvas to say this box is eager or something. All right, next up, uh, looks like we got canvas number three. This one's going to be Alex Kalorn there in the goal crease. All right, looks like we've got our second superstar honor roll here in the next pack of Steven Stamkos. Okay, next pack up, what do we got? This is a base pack, kind of, oh, we got debut dates. They kind of blend in. Debut dates there of John Leonard. So we still need two young guns, a canvas card, a red dazzlers and a blue dazzlers, I think. And here's our second last young gun. I think I know who this is, is it Tice Thompson? Yep, Tice Thompson, another not great one. So yeah, if you don't pull one of the top guys in series one, it can be pretty rough. 
Okay, next up, let's give you our first Hundo P card. I don't think these will ever return. It's Zach Parise. Okay, next up, looks like we have our final Young Guns. So hopefully this is someone. If not, we're hoping for a good Young Gun canvas. Uh, is it Zegris? I don't think it's Zegris. Definitely not Caulfield. Uh, who is this? Is it a goalie? No, not a goalie. Uh, it's another not so great one. <laughs> it's Simon Benoit. So yeah, like I said, the Drysdale is considered the hit of the box because when the stuff released, he was like a thirty-four dollar young guy. But yeah, I think he's been injured a lot. So yeah, not so great. He's like five to ten dollars now. But hopefully, we can get a nice canvas or something to make up for it. Okay, next up. Oh man, there it is. That's our last canvas card. So we won't get a young on canvas. It's gonna be Cam Atkinson. We still got four packs left. Still need a blue dazzlers that could help with the value and red dazzlers. Oh, we got another superstar honor roll. I think it's our third one. I don't think you usually get this many, but David Posternock there. Okay, what do we got here? Debut dates. Looks like we got a debut dates of Connor McMichael. Uh, should be a Dazz. Wait, what? Did I count wrong? Why do we have another Young Guns? I'm, I may have counted wrong. Is this Young Gun number seven? Okay. I do know. I see Sens. I don't think it's Pinto. Who would this be? Ollie Elzing? I may have miscounted. I'm going to double check the young guns. I may have miscounted because I think that's young on number seven. Oh, I counted correct, guys. We've pulled seven. Uh, yeah, that's weird. Uh, too bad none of them are great. <laughs> I haven't got a blue or another red Dazzlers here, so it looks like we won't. So it looks like there was a bit of quality control issues here. Got a Mark Stone Hundo P, but we did get a seventh young gun, which is fine with me, I guess. So yeah, guys, that was a Series 1 retail box of 2022. Nothing really to show besides the Drysdale, but we did get seven Young Guns. So seven Young Gun box, but none of them great at all. The Series 1 depth is just not there. Series 2, a lot deeper, but the top guys for this class from Series 1 are Zegers and Caulfield. So it is weird. Uh, if you don't pull the big guys, it can be pretty rough. Well, so much for watching. Let me know, guys, if you want me to open up the second retail box. Uh, I'm kind of 50-50 on whether or not I'm going to open it, but I'll open it for you guys if you want to see it. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one. L drop a like on the video, and yeah, take care, guys. Have a good one.